Hey guys, just want to give you an update on my Delta Robot project. And I just ordered some new boards from PCBWay. And I went with the matte black and white silkscreen. And what this board is going to be is the prototype controller for the robot. And I'm going to have an ESP32 on there. And I have the three encoders, the SPI bus for the three encoders, and the camera, as well as I have four 3 amp outputs with MOSFETs uh, for things like the pump and solenoids and lighting, anything else I end up adding. And then I broke out the rest of the pins at the top. And then I have a I squared T bus there for a an external display I'll end up mounting. And I've already assembled the board a few days ago. So I just have it in the back here for now uh, clamped up. So, but I do have all the encoders hooked up to it. And what's really cool is I have this Java program that's open source. I'll put a link in the description for that. And basically each column here represents a motor. So you'll see when I move this motor here that I get live feedback of the motor. So this is just a, you know, closer image capture of the data and uh, and it works all three at the same time. I move all three. And so this has been really nice for me to be able to visualize all the data streams at once. And you can see that they're all flat. That means they're, you know, very stable because I had some problems with the prototype. So before I did the actual circuit board, I hand wired up a prototype for the, the encoders and the camera, and I could get them to work pretty reliably one at a time. But the problem became basically crosstalk and interference when I started connecting other encoders. I would no longer get a smooth uh, data stream and the motors would be jittery. So uh, the board really cleared up a lot of that. But it also made me really change where I wanted to put the board because I was originally going to put the board at the bottom here and then run wires up to all the encoders and the switches and the camera. But now what I want to do is to make these SPI bus lines as short as possible. I'm going to have a, an enclosure in the back here that's going to house the controller board and then that's just going to make it a lot easier to wire all my switches up. And I have a emergency stop button here. So, and as much as I like this up here, I might even move all the switches to that back controller box there and still keep this up here for the camera. So I'm pretty happy with how everything's turning out, but the most important thing for me is to get reliable data from the encoders. So that's why I'm gonna end up moving the board up top. And, you know, the last thing I wanna do is have a little a blip in the data here, cause the machine to crash. And these motors are pretty powerful. So, you know, the motors aren't gonna fail, it's gonna break something, you know, the, the arms or uh, something like that. But, like I said, I'm really happy with how smooth all this data is right now. And before even doing this, these these waves would look um, very noisy. So, seeing them nice and flat like that is uh, is pretty good. So, I just have the magnetic encoders. I have a magnet at the end of each shaft. So that's how we're getting all the data there from the encoders. So yeah, the next step will just be starting to incorporate the camera and 
you know, building a bottom wrap, I already have the work surface. And then starting to get all the algorithms together for the kinematics, which I've been working on. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'll see you next time. See ya.